This is how the Detroit Lions can go 16-0 in 2019, game by game. That is right, in this video we're going to try to make the Detroit Lions 16-0. Now if you guys want to see a video like this where I try to make them 0-16, I definitely can. That would be super unfortunate though, so hopefully we don't... Hopefully that doesn't happen. Even if I make a video on that, hopefully it doesn't happen. But this is how the Detroit Lions can go 16-0, which would ultimately lead to a Super Bowl, our first Super Bowl ever. So let's get right into it. Starting off in week one, we are at Arizona, and we can definitely beat the Cardinals. I feel like if you're trying to go 16-0, this is definitely a game you should win. Now they have the rookie quarterback, but they're still not a really good team. I definitely think we should beat the Cardinals, no problem there. 1-0. Now week two is where it gets tough already, because now we're home against the Chargers. But the Chargers are sleeping, right? They haven't, they haven't got woke yet. Their, their offense is struggling. They're not playing very well. Phillip Rivers throws like three interceptions because of the pressure that we get on them. The Detroit Lions start off 2-0. Oh. Now week three at the Eagles. I think this may be one of the toughest games on their schedule. Now looking at it in Philadelphia. But it is early in the season, so the weather should be okay. So the weather's co cooperating. We have a 78-degree day in Philadelphia. And the Detroit Lions find a way to pull this one home because Carson Wentz has a really, really bad game. Okay, he gets frustrated. He starts yelling at his players. And the players start talking about Nick Foles. Like, oh, where's Nick Foles? at to save you. And now they're fighting each other. So now on the sideline, they're all arguing with each other. And what do you know? The Detroit Lions are 3-0. and before they go play the Chiefs. So now they're playing the Chiefs, all right? This is a tough one. And actually, thank you to the comment section because someone actually let me know that I said the wrong uh, week order. I can't remember what video. I think this was my bold predictions video. So thank you for that. I, I was kind of just like throwing it off the top of my head. I did say it wrong. Thank you for uh, letting others know about that. But now we're versus the Chiefs. Okay, we're 3-0, we're rolling. And the Chiefs are like, okay, wait a minute. Maybe we should have to worry about this team. And they're like, nah, it's the Lions, the same old Lions, right? So they go in there, they're sleeping. They're coming in to Ford Field. And they get, they get knocked out. Lions throw the first punch. Lions jump up 14-0 on this team. And they're like, oh, goodness, we actually might have to start coming back. Well, they get close, but they can't because late in the game, Tease Tabor, out of everybody on the field, comes up with an interception. And Tease Tabor seals the game. He's pointing. Darius Slay's following him. You know how the Darius Slay thing went. Well, that's Tease Tabor. He's wagging his finger, saying, I'm back. He, he, he gets his first, like, big moment, big play, seals the deal. The Detroit Lions are 4-0. And now we start hearing ESPN, like, are the Lions for real? Are the Lions for real? No, they're not for real. It's like, okay, we'll just wait then. Because now we're heading into our bye. You know, we get to rest up. We get healthy. Now we're playing the Packers. Okay, now this is a way at Green Bay. Monday night game. Everybody's hyped up. Like, the Packers are going to give him the first loss. Lions go out to slaughter them. The game is not even close. The Detroit Lions beat the Packers like bad. Like they jump on him and it's just not close at all. Aaron Rodgers probably gets hurt and lays down and it acts like he's hurt because it's it's such a big differential. They're probably down 21 nothing at half just like they were last season when they were getting smacked like 24 to nothing. So he'll act like he's hurt. He won't come back into the game and the Detroit Lions will be 5-0. and Now they'll be like talking 2011. Like well the last time the Detroit Lions were 5-0 and they finished 10-6. and They lost in the first round. Can they keep it up? Yes they absolutely can because they don't know that we are on a mission to go 16-0. So now we're playing another divisional team and this is the Vikings. And the Vikings, they're okay. The Vikings aren't very great, though. When Kirk Cousins ends up blowing the game, the Detroit Lions sneak away with a Matt Prater field goal. Very fitting because that seems to be the way the Detroit Lions always beat the Vikings. From 49 yards out, Matt Prater puts it through, and the Detroit Lions win that game by two. Then, versus the Giants at home, the Detroit Lions are rolling right now. The Detroit Lions are feeling that they are 6-0. They're playing the Giants at home, and the Giants want no part of it. They don't know who their quarterback is. So what happens? Well, they actually start Eli Manning, and they're like, oh, Eli Manning starting. Eli Manning starts bad. They put in the backup quarterback. He doesn't finish it off because he can't come back. He's already such in a big hole. There's a whole bunch of talk going around there. The Detroit Lions are now 7-0 and going to face the Raiders on the road. And everybody's talking like Antonio Brown. They're all getting hype. Well, at this point in the season, the Raiders aren't playing that well. They only have two wins on the season. So they're coming in. They get smacked by the Detroit Lions. 45-10, to our biggest blowout of the year. Matthew Stafford throws four touchdown passes, and the Detroit Lions completely go off. Now they're playing away at Chicago. So the Detroit Lions have been rolling. Here's their toughest game of the season. The Lions and Chicago down to the wire. Matthew Stafford with the ball in his hands, down by three. The Detroit Lions get within the 15 with 10 seconds to go, and they throw one last heave to the end zone. It's tipped around. It's caught by Marvin Jones in the back of the end zone. The Detroit Lions win it. They beat the Chicago Bears in Chicago, their biggest game out of the way. And the Detroit Lions are going back home to face the Dallas Cowboys. And now it's all that Dallas talk. Dallas is fighting for a playoff spot at this point in time. They're near 500. The Lions obviously are definitely good looking to get into the playoffs right now, sitting at 9 0. This one may actually clinch a playoff berth depending on how the rest of the NFC unfolds and the Detroit Lions are at home the crowd is rocking it's been the loudest it's ever been and Kerryon Johnson drops 200 rushing yards an outstanding game bringing back the Barry Sanders memories Kerryon Johnson goes off the Detroit Lions win a kind of a low scoring game 20 to 14 
Carry on again, 200 rushing yards. The Detroit Lions are 10-0. Now they go away to face the Redskins. And let's just say it like this. The Redskins aren't a very good team, but the Detroit Lions sleep a little bit. They have to win late in the game on a late field goal attempt, 17 to 14. It's kind of ugly, but they got it done. That's 11 and 0. Now they go back home to face the Bears. The Bears want revenge. The Bears are hyped. They're like, we're going to get them back. That doesn't happen. The Detroit Lions actually take care of business. They handle this one pretty calmly. They win this game by two scores, 28 to 17. Now going to face the Vikings. Having 12 wins on the season, the Detroit Lions are considering now, okay, do we start playing our bench players? Who do? When do we take out Matthew Stafford? When do we take out Karrion Johnson? When does this stuff start happening? Well, they're actually going to wait one more week. They keep their starters in to play away at Minnesota. The Detroit Lions take care of business. They sweep the Minnesota Vikings. Everybody's walking around with their brooms knowing that they have just swept the Vikings. They are 5-0 in the division. They are 13-0 on the season. And now the question is where they start to come in, okay? Do you play your starters? Well, the Detroit Lions play the Buccaneers, and they play their starters for just the first half because they have such a big lead on the Buccaneers because Jameis Winston ends up throwing three interceptions in the first half. The Detroit Lions bring their backups in. They hold on to the lead 28-20. The Detroit Lions end up winning that game. They're 14-0. Now they're playing against the Broncos. The question is here, again, will they play their starters at all? No, they will not. Tom Savage comes out there. Now Tom Savage is out there. He throws the pick early, so we bring in David Fowles. It doesn't work. We're going in a half down 10-0. We had to bring Tom Savage back out there. Carry on is a beast. The, tr the defense, though, is what steps up. Carry on hits 100 yards rushing, but the defense commits three turnovers in the fourth quarter. Yes, the fourth quarter alone, every single drive, they are making plays, and the Detroit Lions end up winning this game, escaping this game. 16-13 to in the fourth quarter. Very close game, and now we're facing the Packers. 15-0. Did the Detroit Lions play their starters? What do they do? They have a chance to go 15-0. They've already locked in the first seed in the NFC. They're playing the Packers at home. The Packers are fighting for a playoff spot. If the Packers lose this game, they never not make the playoffs if they win this game they're in what will the Detroit Lions do they decide to sit everybody carry on sitting Matthew Stafford sits Kenny Galladay sits the top players at each position sit but Aaron Rodgers goes out there and throws a pick early in the game to Tease Tabor as a number one cornerback Rashad Mel Tease Tabor locking down and Ty Johnson goes off Ty Johnson, 150 rushing yards. Ty Johnson gets it done for the Detroit Lions, and Matt Prater ends up sinking a 53-yard field goal kick to put the Detroit Lions over the Packers by one, hits the crossbar like the bottom of the crossbar, bounces in. The Detroit Lions win the game. They are 16-0. The parade begins. The Detroit Lions will have a bye in round one, and they end up winning the Super Bowl and create the perfect season, 19-0 in 2019. 2019, 19-0, it fits, right? The Detroit Detroit Lions end up going 19-0, and that's exactly how the Detroit Lions will go 16-0 in 2019. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, this is just kind of a little fun video. If you guys want to see how the Detroit Lions can go 0-16, I can do that. It may not be as happy, but I can definitely do that. Anyways, thank you, Pride, for watching. In and out.